I'm the guy from Big Daddy, remember me? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted, everybody. I'm Adam Sandler, that's Leslie Mann. Seth Rogen's right there. We're here to talk about our movie, Funny People. So we're going to ask each other some questions, uh, as well as some of your questions from home. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. let's see how it goes down. I'll start with the first question. Leslie, hit it. This is from Brian in New York. Who's it to? Oh, this is to you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you stand <laughs> it. <laughs> you guys are so good at this. Yes, okay. we've was, done this. Was it harder to write stand-up material when you first started your career or for this movie? Much easier for this movie, and I'll tell you why. When I was uh, first starting in comedy, I swear to God, and I think you, you, we've talked about this, if you wrote one joke... That was a big deal for like three months. Yeah, it was crazy, yeah. You were excited that day. I think it still worked. And your friends would go, how's that joke going? Is it still going good? It's still great. And it was, you would like know comics from their joke. Like I remember yeah. seeing a guy in the club and be like, oh, crazy glue. Exactly. Oh, you know, exactly. Uh, Tahiti. Like you can just know like what everyone's funniest joke was. Exactly. Yeah, it, it exactly. Was, it was and instantaneous. this thing we wrote like, you know, maybe a hundred jokes uh, uh, in a week. Yeah. It was not that big of a deal. Where we, We've been not saying they were any of them were good, but we did <laughs> This next question I will be asking Leslie is from Sean in Oroville, California. What is the most awkward scene you've had to perform while your husband was directing? Perform. I guess that would be our love scene. It wasn't that. That was awkward. the most awkward well, thing? Well, nothing else is awkward. Nothing what else that, has been awkward? And it wasn't awkward. even that awkward. And that wasn't even that awkward. I can't really think of anything. But was it can... weird, like when you made out with Steve Kerr? Well, I guess you didn't know Steve as well as you know Adam. That was a little, that was awkward. That was a little awkward. awkward. The ours was a little more awkward because... I don't, yeah. Because you know each other. The, yeah, there's the, history. There's history, and Judd seemed uncomfortable, but uh, but he says he was aroused. But I don't know. <laughs> he kept screaming, Judd, you're in love with him, aren't you? <laughs> Why are you going. doing this to our Keep kids? Going. <laughs> Keep it going. I deserve it. <laughs> throughout your years on the planet, your hair, has it got tighter, the curls, or has it remained... <laughs> It's actually, they have gotten tighter, I think. They've what? been they're yeah. loose right now. Yeah, they're a little loose today. This is my press junket look. <laughs> what, what, how do you get them so loose? Paul Mitchell, what are you using? I, I, I don't use anything. I run my, my girlfriend actually always criticizes uh, because she likes the tight ringlet, <laughs> which is what it looks like uh -huh. when I get out of the shower. And then I run my hand through it kind of. And she oh, says, yeah. no, you're ruining it. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm not ruining it. I, I like think. this hairstyle. This is my favorite. Thank you. This is I pretty think good you one. have much softer hair than me. Really? Yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Let me do I'd like to see, in Zohan, is that really your hair? No. Which one? Oh, no, it's no, no. It's kind of exactly the same. Is that what it would look like if it grew out? What would your hair look like if it grew out? never be as good as yours. Mine, when I, when, when Does I it was, go like, br like brillo -y? Yeah, it's like not. It's a house you can snap off a piece. Yeah. <laughs> John in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, wants to know, mm -hmm. what was the best and worst part of having Judd Apatow as a roommate? Uh, Apatow was never a problem. The, uh, the, I would uh, imagine uh, <laughs> that, that he wouldn't bother you. I, yeah, right. He was, I was probably more, clean and you were he the, was, yeah. yeah, he's, he's like a gentle clean. sweet. He's, no, he isn't. He's not that clean. Compared to you. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, you're, you're, you're better than uh, everything. That Judd has to offer, but, <laughs> but Judd, um, he was always sweet. He was always timely with rent and all that stuff. He always put food in the fridge. He was very complimentary about my roommate skills. You know, like way, way to fall asleep last night. He was always nice, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, <clears throat> he talked you to sleep, didn't he? Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> he probably did that two times. And now it's like Still. you had the problem. I can I can honestly say that's two more times than my friends have talked me to sleep. <laughs> I was sick. <laughs> I had the flu. Grandma wasn't there to bring me a toast. No, but but uh, I, I do remember the only time he was mad at me is when Jack Garaputo came out to uh, visit. And he slept over one night, and then he slept over another night, and that was about six nights in, maybe, maybe three weeks in. And then, can I talk to you for a minute, Adam? Yeah, what's up, Judd? Is Jack ever leaving? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, he can't find a place. And I, don't you think you should have run that by me? <laughs> if I, uh, you know, wanted, maybe I could have been part of that decision. Like, oh, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. He goes, all right. All right. Seth to Leslie, unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a lot of people see these movies, and because Judd is constantly going on about how personal they are and how true to the life they are, yeah, yeah. Uh, like what are some of the things that really bothers you that people think are probably from your life, but they're actually not at all from your life? Made up. 
Yeah. Mm. Judd lies. Uh, or what things are from your life that you don't want people to know are from your life. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, a lot of this stuff, I guess more stuff from Knocked Up is mm-hmm. from our... Uh, you know, when we were having, when I was pregnant with Maude, yeah. and... Um, Which was a sin. <laughs> <laughs> like kicking him out of the car when yeah. we were on the way to the gynecologist's office and <laughs> making him walk. And, That's um, the best. And, but but didn't, he, he didn't come and, and, he didn't and come scream back. at me. No, he came back. Oh, and but was he was very, very nice about it. <laughs> he didn't scream at me that way. He thought, maybe I could be part of the conversation <laughs> that decides whether or not I get kicked out of the car. <laughs> 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 You started stand-up comedy at 13. What was your best joke or bit when you first started? Yeah, do you remember? I, I had a lot of jokes with my grandparents that are actually like kind of similar to some of the ones I tell in the movie, <laughs> which is sad. <laughs> um, there was some about them being deaf, and I kind of acted out this like deaf argument they were having, and the other one couldn't hear what the other one oh, passed me good. the pillow. I'm an armadillo, and then like uh-huh. that was that was basically the joke, uh, and I got a lot of mileage out of it. It was a good. I one. had a similar yeah. grandma can't hear joke. It's 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 a classic mind to well or well to mind whatever. I had one about a girl dumping me, and uh, the big punchline was, and then I asked if I could give her one kiss to leave her with something special. Strep throat. Oh, and then that's, that's, that's how the audience would react. They wouldn't they wouldn't so much as laugh as go. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a, nice. A, a twist. <laughs> Do you remember writing me the ketchup note? It's sport. important. No, it's important. <laughs> it's really important. What did you say on the ketchup note? This is when you tried to hit on me. This is something she told <laughs> Apatow. I hit Were on. Were you her. there? Like, no. like, like, I mean, Apatow wasn't there though. This is just no, like, no. This is right before what I met what, him. What Leslie is presupposing is in a world, uh, <laughs> right, right. In, in this in this version of reality, before Leslie and Judd met each other, she mm-hmm. happened to see you, yes. who had some fame at this point. I did you. But I couldn't. Probably I can't remember. Well, you knew it was MTV him. How do you even no, I don't know if I knew. I don't him. know. Maybe it was MTV. Yeah. Listen. And, okay. And, so here's you and don't what's know. the story though? No. Okay. So we were sitting at a table. I was with a bunch of girls, and right. Adam with, was with a bunch of boys. Right. And he sent one of his boys over with a note, um, and and some li- like some pickup line like "nice back." Or something. Nice back. <laughs> Still uh, works. Exactly. <laughs> and his friend said, "Hey, why don't you come over?" But it was and written say, in ketchup. Is that it was written in ketchup. <laughs> I wrote it in ketchup. It is not. It was it was good. Well, no, I like that uh, part. And then, and his friend nice. said, "Come over and say hi to my friend." And I thought, well, why? Why doesn't he come over to say hi to me? Uh, and yeah. then, and then we neither one of us would do it. So it was like a standoff. Right? You won. I was probably the 10th girl that night you wrote a ketchup it, note to, it right? Was a it was the same ketchup th- note. <laughs> Can I have it back? It was a ketchup yeah. note for the whole table. <laughs> He's already easy to make. Anyway, <laughs> it is, if anyone, I don't know, but I, I got to say the when uh, you uh, uh, and Apatow started falling in love, I don't remember, like, I remember going, hey, nice to meet you, but I, I don't remember, like, oh, that was that girl I hit on that night. I remember. Girl. You remember, huh? <laughs> that <laughs> same meeting, she was thinking, it's the fucking ketchup <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Well, uh, I, uh, congratulations on your life. <laughs> Hope you're happy with your fucking <laughs> shot <laughs> <out of> the <laughs> top. <laughs> A big thank you to Seth, to the Ketchup Girl. Thank you, Adam. Thanks to Movie Phone and to you for watching and sending in your questions. If you have time, check out Funny People. That's in theaters. What date? Uh, July thirty first. Should be terrific. I I saw it. These guys are great in it. Thanks. He's good too. And and I'm very very. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you guys. it up to yeah. the jib. Well, jib. <laughs> <laughs> we like to thank the jib.